everyone, welcome back to another video. For this video, I'll be showing you how to make this 2K No Game Pass Mood House. Its purpose is to mainly replenish your mood, so it does consist of components that will allow you to do that. For example, it has a cooler which you can obtain food from, it has a sink which you can up your hygiene with, and is completed with a bed, a TV, and a wardrobe. Basically, all the necessities. This is perfect for beginners, but you don't necessarily have to be a beginner on Bloxburg to build this house. Maybe you just want a plot that costs less, or a tiny little stylish shed for your orange farm. But I will mention though that the house value of this plot is exactly $2,492, however this may fluctuate depending on the coloring. Right now I'm giving you a short tour of the place, this is a no game pass build, and no I did not use advanced placing to put the objects closer together. You just have to find this icon on the screen, I will put it up right now. If you click it twice, you can change it to have a smaller grid. This will allow you to freely move the object, but of course we still can't put it on top of other objects because that requires requires advanced placing, but we can definitely put it closer together. Just a reminder that during this tutorial, you can choose to slow it down by changing the playback speed setting on this YouTube video, I'll put it on the screen. That's it for the intro, now let's get into the video. Starting off, we'll be using plain markings, putting that parallel to each other, one shorter than the other, and to complete the square, we'll be using walls, and we will be dragging that at the back to make a rectangle. We will now be grabbing the floor tool and we'll be making a square at the front of our house and filling in our rectangle. With our roof tool, we will be using flat roofs. We'll be making a little rectangle at the front and one at the back and we'll be dragging that up until it says $58. For our front door, we will just be using a plain door frame. We'll just put that in the middle for now. We will move it later. But for our windows, we'll be just using a square window. We are going to put that only on one wall and far apart from each other. We will be putting a thin crown molding for two of our small interior walls. For both of our roofs, they will be colored institutional white for the first two color slots and the last color slot will be colored linen planks long. For the lone wall, we will be coloring it institutional white for both of its sides and we are also putting that color on the two smaller inside walls. The wall trims will be called linen planks long. This also goes for the inside walls and the outside walls that have not been colored yet. For our interior floor, we will be coloring it the exact same thing, which is linen planks long. And for our outside walls, we will be just coloring it concrete. And lastly, our plain markings will also be colored linen planks long. We are now at the decorating part of this video. I will talk to you again at the end. The colors we will be using will mainly consist of linen, white, black, and a little seashell. Please keep in mind that you can slow down this video using this button, and all of the names of the items being used are at the bottom left side of the screen. I'll talk to you later! Thank you. 
that is all for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and comment down any suggestions down below i'll see you later bye